Hello students, I am Ramesh, Chemistry faculty from Vidya Mandir Metric Higher Secondary School, Purthakarai. In last class, we may discuss electromeric effect. Now, in this session, we may discuss mesomeric effect and also resonance. Now, we may take in the case of mesomeric effect. In organic compound, we are take in organic compounds. Sigma and pi bonds are in alternate positions, are called as conjugated system. So, here the sigma and pi bonds, sigma and pi bonds are present in alternate position. Alternate position. Then they are called as conjugate system. What is that? Conjugate system. For example, what is a conjugate system? We are taking an example, examples of conjugated system. Now, we may take 1 comma 3 u dot e. Here, it is a sigma bond and a pi bond. So, here, there is a pi bond and a sigma bond and a pi bond. So, sigma bond and a pi bonds are present in Alternate positions are called as conjugated system. And also, we are take acrolein. Here, it is acrolein. Double bond O under the H. And it is acrolein. What is that? Acrolein. And acrylic acid. Here, OH and double bond O. And it is acrylic acid acrylic acid and also benzene we are taking benzene here the bond here the bond and bond here it is sigma and pi sigma and pi sigma and pi so they are called as conjugated system and also benzaldehyde here double bond o and here hydrogen and bond double bond pi bond sigma bond pi bond and sigma bond so alternate sigma bond and pi bonds are called as conjugated system now we may define the mesomeric effect and this delocalization of pi electron in a conjugated system are called as mesomeric effect so here we may take d localization of the localization of pi electron in conjugated system conjugated system then it is known as mesomeric effect so it is a definition so the localization of pi electron in a conjugated system which is known as mesomeric effect or conjugated effect so it is known as mesomeric effect mesomeric effect or otherwise known as conjugate effect conjugate effect for example we may take delocalization of pi electron we are taking the first example here the bond and here double bond and here R and this is the conjugated system and in this conjugated system there is a delocalization here the pi bond sigma bond pi bond sigma bond and pi bond now it will be delocalized because of highest electronegativity of oxygen the pi bond will move towards oxygen so what will happen here it is getting a negative charge and this bond will move here and so that it is getting a positive charge and this bond will move here so we may get the structures what is that we are taking like this and here r and o minus and here the bond and here the bond and it is the positive charge so delocalization of pi electron in a conjugated system which is known as 
mesomeric effect. And one more example we are take. And we are taking this one. And it is the bond. And here O and that bonded with hydrogen. Now the delocalization it will be moved here and so the bond is moved here and the bond is moved here. So what will happen? We are getting that that is the conjugated system and here that is OH and it is the bond and here the bond and here it is the negative charge. So delocalization of pi electron which is known as mesomeric effect. And one more example, we are taking the benzene ring. We are taking the benzene nucleus. Here the bond and it is alternate sigma and pi bond. Now, it will be moved here. What will happen? It is getting a negative charge. So that we are getting that some structure. We are getting here the negative charge and here the bond and here the bond and we are getting here the positive charge okay now the negative charge will be moved so here the moment and this is the moment so we are getting the another one a resonance structure so it is the negative charge and the bond and the bond now here the bond is moved here, the negative charge is moved here, so that this bond is going to here. So we are getting that, the one more structure, we are getting the bond and here the bond and the bond. So these are the delocalization of pi electron. Then it is known as mesomeric effect, mesomeric effect. Now the next point here, due to delocalization of pi electron, we may get more number of resonating structure and these resonating structures are more stable. So due to delocalization of pi electron, delocalization of pi electron, pi electron, then it will be leads to number of resonating structure, number of resonating structure so we are getting so many resonating structures and these resonating structures are stable the resonating structures are stable and so this mesomeric effect is otherwise known as resonance effect so we are called as resonance effect resonance effect so the mesomeric effect that will be leads to resonating structure and it will be gives the stability of your molecule so that these are called as resonating structure okay now the mesomeric effects are two types one is positive mesomeric effect that is plus m effect and minus m effect so we are take the first one that is positive are electron rippling electron rippling mesomeric effect electron rippling mesomeric effect so we are taking positive or electron rippling mesomeric effect and here if an atom or group is said to be plus m effect is said to be plus some effect then what will happen here the delocalization of pi electron is move away from the group so if any atom or group is considered as a plus some effect here the delocalization delocalization of pi electron is move away from move away from the group away from the group then it is known as positive mesomeric effect for example we are take 1 comma 3 butyl ium and here the bond and here the bond now here oh bond oh bond 
Now, here the electron density will be moved away from the group and it will be due to that delocalization. So, the bond is moved here. So, that the bond is moved here and the bond is moved here. So, we are getting that delocalization is due to the away from that group. So, we are getting that that is H O and here that double bond we are taking that the double bond and here that the bond and it is the negative charges. Now it is a positive charge. So delocalization of pi electron is away from the group is known as mesomeric effect. Now example of such a group we are taking that is OH that is lone pair and OR and here also lone pair and NH2 and lone pair and NHR nitrogen as lone pair and NR2 nitrogen as lone pair and SH sulfur as lone pair SR and here it is X hydrogen it is also the lone pair. So these groups mostly contains the lone pair. The lone pair is away then delocalization occurs. And in the case of benzene ring is attached with this plus M group. So we are taking in benzene in benzene plus M group present. So in benzene plus some group activate the electron density at the ortho and para position. So in benzene plus some group activate activate electron density electron density at ortho and para position ortho and para position so the plus m group is present in the benzene ring it will be activate the electron density at the ortho and para position towards electrophilic substitution so that these plus m groups are called as ortho para directors so here the plus m groups plus m groups are called as ortho para directors ortho para directors now we may take that the negative mesomeric effect so second one it is negative or electron attracting electron attracting mesomeric effect electron attracting mesomeric effect so we are taking that the atoms are groups we are taking the atom or group is considered as the negative mesomeric effect it is considered as the negative mesomeric effect then delocalization of pi electron is moved towards the group so here the delocalization delocalization of pi electron is moved towards the group moved towards the group then it is considered as negative or electron attracting mesomeric effect suppose we are taking the example and here the bond here the bond and here the double bond and that here R. now here the group it is a ketonic group the ketonic group is present then it is considered as the negative mesomeric effect and the pi bond will be moved here so that the bond is moved here and the bond is moved here so delocalization occurs towards the group so that we are getting the structure what is that 
here that is double bond and here O minus and R and the bond is converted into here then it is getting a positive charge and this bond is going to here so that the delocalization move towards that a minus M group then it is negative mesomeric effect and these groups are we are taken that is aldehyde C double bond O and the H and ketone C double bond O and that C triple bond N that is a cyanide and NO2 group NO2 group and sulfonic acids you take yes double bond O and that OH and double bond O these are all negative mesomeric effect negative mesomeric effect and such a group is present in that benzene ring then it deactivate the electron density at the ortho and para position so these groups are considered as meta directors meta directors meta directors in benzene in benzene towards electrophilic substitution reaction so minus m groups are considered as meta directors because it will be deactivate the electron density on r2 and para position and plus m groups are considered as ortho para directors okay now the next topic it is resonance and in certain molecule in certain organic molecule certain molecule a single Lewis structure cannot explain all those properties so single Lewis structure cannot explain cannot explain all the properties all the properties of the molecule so the single structure is not enough to explain all those properties of the molecule and chemist consider that that molecule has many structure and each of them explain most of the property but not all so such molecule has many structure so the molecule has molecule has many structure many structure and each of the structure each of the structure explains most of the property it explain most of the property most of the property but not all the properties but not that all those properties now we may take that here the actual structure is in between the contributing structure so the actual structure actual structure is in between the contributing structure the contributing structure and this is called as resonance hybrid it is known as resonance hybrid so the resonance hybrid one it is considered as all those resonating structure it is in between the structure which is known as resonance hybrid now the individual structures are considered as resonance structure or canonical structure so we attain the individual structures individual structures are considered as resonance structure resonance structure are canonical structures 
canonical structures. So, the rational structure or canonical structures are nothing but the individual structure of the molecule. Now, the resonance hybrid is nothing but the individual structure in between the structure which is known as resonance hybrid and this concept which is known as resonance is known as resonance. Now, we may take that the condition of resonance, condition of resonance. So, condition of, condition of resonating structure, resonating structure. What are the condition of resonating structures? And in the resonating structure, they contain the same position of atoms. Position of atoms. So, they are same position of atoms. And the resonating structure has same number of pair and unpaired electron. So, pair and unpaired electron. And they are all almost equal energy. So, they are all equal energy. Equal energy. And they all differ only by the pi electron delocalization or arrangement of electron. So, they are differ only by arrangement of electron. Arrangement of electron in the resonating structure. The resonating structure. So, these are all the condition of resonating structure. Now, we may take the, the examples. So, the first example, carbon dioxide. What is that? Carbon dioxide. And you know that carbon dioxide has, that is carbon in a center and double bond oxygen and double bond oxygen and oxygen has two lone pair. And this oxygen is also two lone pair. Now, this resonance hybrid are represented as double headed arrow mark. Double headed arrow mark. Now, the pi electron movement is there. So, the pi electron is goes to here and making a triple bond. So, that the electron density on carbon increases. So, the bond is moved away on that oxygen. So, what will happen here? Oxygen and we are taking that triple bond and carbon and here O and negative charges. So, it has only one electron. Now, the same way, the reverse is also possible. This bond is also moved here and it is the oxygen getting a negative charge. So that the resonating structure may be, that is O and getting that, the negative charge and bond C and triple bond O and that, it is a positive charge. Triple bond O and here the oxygen. And we are getting, this is the positive charge and here is a positive charge. So, it is one of the example. Now, we are taking the second example that is carbonate ion. CO3 to minus. And in carbonate ion, that is carbon and oxygen and here oxygen and here oxygen. Now, it is double bond O and here the negative charge. Now, it is the resonance hybrid of another one that is C double bond O and O minus and here O minus. And it is the resonance hybrid of another one structure that is carbon double bond O and that O minus and that O minus. So, in this case, the double bond is transferred to all those oxygen. Then it is resonance structure. 
So the individual structure which is known as canonical structure and the resonance hybrid is one is in between all those three structure that it is known as resonance hybrid. Now the characteristics of resonance. So the first characteristics here in the resonating structure, resonating structure, the groups are we are taking that the resonating molecule in resonating structure resonating structure that explains identical bond it explains identical bond identical bond that is the concepts of double bond character so it is the concept of partial double bond partial double bond so hence the identical bonds have equal bond length so hence it explains the bond length are equal for example we may take that carbon carbon bond in benzene that is C6 at 6 we are take this carbon carbon bond it has 139 picometer in benzene but normally here carbon carbon single bond carbon carbon single bond has 154 picometer 154 picometer and carbon carbon double bond carbon carbon double bond the length is 134 picometer so it explained in the benzene ring all those carbon carbon bond length are equal that is nothing but partial double bond character so that it has only 139 picometer and we may take that the second one here the non-polar molecules are more stable than polar molecule. So here the non-polar molecules, non-polar resonance structure or non-polar structures are more stable, more stable than polar structure, than polar structure. For example, we may take 1,3 butadiene. 1,3 butadiene. And here it may be the resonating structure and the bond is moved here and it is getting a positive charge. So that here that is positive charge and negative charge. The same way another one structure is possible. What is that? This bond is moved here. So that we are getting here the bond and it is the negative charge and the positive charge and another two more structures are possible we are take another two more structures for 1,3 butadiene 1,3 butadiene so another two more structure here the bond and that is the positive and negative the same way we are taking it is the bond and it is positive and negative now there are five structures among the structure which one is non-polar the first structure it is a polar we are take it is a polar and it is also polar the first structure we are take here the bond and here the bond it is non-polar so which one has a non-polar structure then it is more stable non-polar structures are more stable and the next one we are taking that is in the structure similar charges are present in that adjacent molecules are insignificant so in the resonating structure we are taking the similar charges similar charges are present in adjacent position Similar structures are present in 
adjacent position adjacent positions are insignificant are insignificant for example here ch2 and ch and ch and ch2 we are take this molecule now here the positive and positive negative and negative and this structure is unstable and insignificant so it is unstable and the next one here the positive charge on electro positive element and negative charge on electro negative element are stable so the positive charge positive charge on electro positive element electro positive element and the negative charge negative charge on electro negative element electro negative element are more stable are more stable listen if you are consider the ketonic group and in this ketonic group on polarization we are getting that two structure we are taking the first one that is the bond is move here and getting the negative charge and the positive charge so that the ketonic group and here o minus and here positive charge now oxygen is highest electronegative so negative charges on oxygen and positive charge on that carbon which is more stable so it is a stable one if you are going to the reverse here carbon and negative charge oxygen is a positive charge then it is unstable so positive charge on electro positive element and negative charge on electro negative elements are more stable okay the next point the molecule has two equivalent structure two equivalent structure so two equivalent structures are more stable for example we are taking that the benzene nucleus and here the bond the bond and the equivalent structures are the reverse one we are take the bond and the bond here the bond so these two are equivalent structures so the equivalent structures are more stable and the next one here the charge separation and charge delocalization and here the charge separation charge separation is less stable less stable than charge delocalization charge delocalization listen what do you mean by charge separation and charge delocalization we are taking that is r c double bond o and the oh that is carboxylic acid and in oxygen there is lone pair and now here the lone pair of electron will move towards here so the bond is move towards here and we may get the resonance structure so what will happen here that is r c o minus and double bond o getting positive charge now this is considered as charge separation what is that charge separation now charge separations are less stable that is positive and negative separation which is known as charge separation now charge delocalization and r c double bond o and that o minus it is carboxylic anion now the bond will be delocalized like this then 
we are getting the resonating structure that is R C O minus and double bond O and only the negative charge will be created. Then it is known as charge charge delocalization. So charge delocalization are more stable than charge separation. Okay, and the next one here. Less charge separations are more stable. So, the next point that is less charge separation. Less charge separation are more stable. Are more stable. Suppose we are taking that aniline molecule. Now, we are taking the aniline molecule. And here the bond and we are taking NH2 and it is the neutral molecule. What is that? It is a neutral molecule. There is no charge at all, only lone pair. Now the bond is going to here. Then we are getting the another one resonating structure. Here double bond N plus and H2 and the bond is converted into here and the bond and the bond and one more structure is also possible we are getting like this and here the double bond N plus and H2 here the bond and here the bond and it is the negative charge and among these two structure which one has less separation here it is less separation it is less separation and it is more separation positive and negative charges are opposite so that it is more separation compare that this structure it is first and second and the third structure which one is more stable the first structure is more stable so we are taking the stability of this molecule first structure it is neutral structure is more stable than the top the two and that it is three and we are taking the next point here all the atom all the atom present in that resonating structures or should be a coplanar so all the atoms all the atom participate in resonance structure participate in resonance structures are coplanar that is planarity is maintained because the overlapping of p orbital is very high so the overlap of p orbital are possible the orbitals are high so in that overlap if it is equivalent to overlap suppose 2p 2p overlap is more stable than that of 2p and 3p and 2p and 4p so it is more stable than that of the other okay Students, in this session, we discuss the mesomeric effect and the resonance effect. Go through your NCRT book and your textbook. Thank you.